I want to go ahead and put Mike Winger on blast because I know it's going to get me some some views. I'm going to put Mike Winger on. He's got 400 something thousand subscribers. And so it'll help me get my subscribership up. OK, that's why your channel, Dr. Watchdog, is not doing anything, because all you do is go after people. Preach the gospel at least once, at least one out of 10 videos. Uh, can you tell I have an issue with Dr. Watchdog? I do. Mike Winger believes that that Joel Osteen is a brother in Jesus Christ. Yeah, y'all do know that, right? Like that's that's what that's what he he openly says that, and he doesn't apologize for he he Joel, he thinks Joel Osteen is a brother and Joel Osteen's going to heaven. Um, I take serious issue with that. I do consider Joel Osteen and many in his group to be real Christians. <laughs> Now, I get a lot of flack from them. I'm going to get comments right now in this video. Mike, how could you do that? Um, I, I think that they are. Now, let me say, Joel Osteen, as far as I know, he truly affirms the true gospel. And if you pulled him aside and we're like, what do you really believe about Jesus? He's going to he's gonna affirm all the right and true things about the real Jesus. Like he seems to be believing in the same Jesus I am. What do you mean by that? So Mike says that Joel Osteen is a Christian? How about no? What? No. That is unbiblical and shows that he has a clear lack of discernment. Well, welcome to Real Talk with Jordan Riley, where the real talk does not come from me. It comes directly from God's word. And today we're going to be looking at Mike Winger, who's known for his big, long, multiple hour YouTube videos. Mike sounds like he knows what he's talking about, but sadly, Mike has no spinal cord and Mike gives passes to false teachers all the time. What's wrong with you people? I get it. And this is really what I'm in trouble for with Doctrinal Watchdog and with Tim is that primarily the biggest thing that they, that they say about me that's true, that's not a lie is that I really do think that a lot of Christians are real Christians, even though they have major issues in their lives, whether it's some doctrinal things that are wrong or whether it's even some practical, like living their life and there's issues. And maybe I'm less confident that they're Christian because of the things I see, but I'm not going to call them false brethren because of it. So I've done it. And, and, and we've reached our first major error. I would argue this is, this is the the trap of normative discernment you were seeing play out with with his argumentation here. Now remember, we just just talked about Paul writing to the Corinthian church that there are ways to determine whether we are to treat somebody as a brother or not. Right. So back to um, uh, back to the passage here at hand. Again, Paul's saying um, that you are not to associate with sexually immoral people and not the ones in the world, they're lost, evangelize them, but those that bear the name of brother who are guilty of these sins. And again, not committed the sin and then repented, but continually guilty of these sins, unrepentant. So we have every ability and obligation biblically to look at the false teaching, especially, but unrepentant uh, behavior, unrepentant beliefs, false beliefs of people that claim the name of Christ and um, treat them as unbelievers. And, and, and Winger said, I won't do that. Let me re rewind his statement here just a little bit. That's true. That's not a lie is that I really do think that a lot of Christians are real Christians, even though they have major issues in their lives, whether it's some doctrinal things that are wrong or whether it's even some practical, like living their life and there's issues. And maybe I'm less confident that they're Christian because of the things I see, but I'm not going to call them false brethren because of it. And again, Paul just told you to call them false brethren. Do not even eat with such a one as, as this. Do not even eat with them. Disassociate. Do not be associated with people that claim the name of Christ and yet believe and teach false doctrine. And he even said, I mean, we even said in this video, well, maybe they have some issues with doctrine. He's not saying what those are. We're going to get to that here in a second. Um, or, or issues in their life. Now, this is not just a blanket proclamation that you can make. I'm unwilling to 
you know, treat someone as false brethren, um, no matter what the issue is, we, we have to have a boundary here. And fortunately, I mean, like we just read, Paul provided a, a, a good boundary, unrepentant lifestyle sin from claimed Christians. Um, we're supposed to consider them lost. We're not supposed to associate with them. I've done this with several people who are even prominent teachers like Joel Osteen, who I, yeah, I've got reason to wonder whether that guy's really saved or not, but I, what, what's your reason? What's your reason to wonder why he's not saved? It, it, could it be that he preaches a false gospel? Could it be that, that he never mentions sin one bit? He's got, he, he, he preaches a health and wealth gospel, a false gospel, meaning he's worshiping a false Jesus. Could, could that be it? Maybe. <laughs> You know, Joel Osteen is like Joel Osteen is the lowest hanging fruit of false teaching. Like, like he's he's comically a false teacher almost. But listen to what Mike Winger's saying here. I lean and I lean hopefully on the side that you know he does pro seem to proclaim the true gospel of Christ. And if you <laughs> what? No, no, he doesn't. No, <laughs> he's hours and hours and hours of video on here. The inability to correctly parse the text of scripture is, is legendary with Joel Osteen. And yet we have Mike Winger, the biggest, you know, arguably he might be the biggest, I don't know, Christian YouTuber out there that can't get these kind of basics of discernment, right. Or refuses to like, I don't think Mike Winger's a dumb guy. I don't, which leaves me on one of the option. He's falsely discerning this stuff. It's, you know, he's providing cover. So, so if I'm a Joel Osteen person, I go to Houston, you know, to, to, uh, Joel Osteen's church, Lakewood church in Houston. And I'm like, I think Joel Osteen's awesome. He's great. I, and I'm lost because that's what people who think Joel Osteen's great are lost. And I happen to run across Mike Winger on YouTube and he's like, well, I, I, you know, he seems to have the basis of the gospel down, you know, so it's okay. Um, I'm not going to change anything. I like Joel Osteen that Mike Winger's telling me exactly what my lost heart wants to hear. He's tickling my ears. He's an ear tickler.